Well, my name is Edgar Gazan, and I'm from Venezuela. And, well, this is kind of the little story of uh, my mom who was uh, prognosed with uh, breast cancer when it was, you know, it was a long time ago. I was 11 at the time. And um, she actually went through the conventional treatments, uh, you know, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. Um, she got better for a while, you know, after a really painful period of time. And, and then after four years, uh, the whole thing just came back. And uh, this time was worse than ever. So again, we have to, you know, have the emotional resilience to go back to the same conventional treatment of uh, chemotherapy and radiotherapy again. So uh, looking at your mom um, evaporating her life uh, uh, in front of your eyes with, without any mm, chance or possibility to do anything else. Um, so uh, after that, her prognosis were like barely a month of life. Um, so my brother at the time, who, who was already living in the U.S., um, you know, and we're, we were all looking for chances to uh, extend her life in a better way. And, uh, you know, um, he comes and, and met Dr. Yan. After that, I, I still remember saying goodbye to my mom without, you know, uh, let's say the probability of uh, whether I was going to look at her again or not. So that was kind of the issue at the time. Um, so she came to US. She stayed for about, um, she was supposed to live about five months. So eventually she started to get better under Dr. Young treatment. Um, at the time, I didn't know what it was exactly or who, who was, uh, you know, who he was or, or anything. I, you know, we just wanted to do something uh, different. Um, so for my surprise, she came back six, six months later, which is, you know, beyond the prognosis <laughs> at the time, feeling a lot, lot better, not to say almost cure. And, and, and then after that, she, you know, I, I was able, as a kid, to have my mom for at least uh, three more years. And yes, she died. She died from cancer and because, you know, it wasn't because of a, a treatment or, or anything. It was just because she came back to the same old habits and, and the same things that, you know, just produced the same result of getting it back. And when that happened, uh, you know, I felt for her because she was already tired of, of making decisions, resilience, and I, I can just imagine what a, you know, as a kid, it's, I just can't say that it was my um, experience of living through this was very hard. But uh, now that I'm adult, I could say that her, her um, path was kind of different. And, and I know by a fact that myself is grateful of those three years of, of, of having my mom in a better health. And I, you know, I've certainly put my, hair, my hands on fire that she was just, you know, uh, as grateful just for having the time to, at least with me, to share time with, the, you know, her uh, youngest kid and, and being able to get me through uh, high school and, and see all that, and then actually to get some time at college. So she wasn't able to see my kids or anything, but uh, I think that, just that part, changes life. And uh, not only to the person that is being treated, but to the people around, around her and around, uh, around the, the, the person that is sick. So I don't know, for me it's just, it's just, a, it's just a wonderful experience. It was a wonderful experience of learning and, and, and now what I could say is, is, is that that was kind of a wake-up call at the time. Uh, and, and I don't know, from, from that time on, I, I don't see myself just doing like, like anything related to health in a, in a more profound way, from going to meditation all the way to good nutrition, alkaline nutrition, um, exercise, uh, good relationships, and just living by meaning, and 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 that all that all what I'm saying just come from that specific time period. So uh, 
yeah, I think that's that's my sharing, and and that's what I can say about it, and 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 definitely there is there is a way, and there is certainly creating you know the world is certainly creating ways to deal with sickness in a very different way and more more holistic ways, and and uh, bringing health to people in ways that you know you don't feel that the medicine is killing the people but you actually feel that the medicine or whatever the treatment is is giving life back to the people so so that's that's a big difference and um well and hopefully uh you know from from this near future you know more and more people like me who are right now 11 years old i'm 38 right now but uh, at the time uh, are going to be able to uh have wonderful life and a wonderful recovery from their parents when they're dealing with this and they get educated ed educated about um, how to take care and how to take responsibility from our own uh, since we're little kids so we don't have to deal with these type of things so